Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome to some Katamon. Today is April 3rd, last patch was March 28th, and uh, today we're going to be playing a little bit of Monku. have not done a Monku run in a little while, and uh, I'm excited to do, to do so. Uh, I'm, currently, I have a Legendary Prime. I've done that by going to Mystery Events and clicking on some corresponding runes. Uh, I'm going to have a link in the description down below on how to do that. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to come across a Legendary at one of these mini-bosses. I think that would be very, very cool. I don't know if you need to win, uh, or how that works, but we do have a fire squad available or a poison squad available right off the bat there. I also see the potential for some bug, which is nice. I do like bug. Hmm. We did a poison squad last time. I kind of want to do a poison pivot. What kind of fire ice could we get going? Hmm. I, I think we're very likely to end up with uh, hmm. I don't know. Probably like a Kittle or something. I'm gonna go this... But this is also a bug line. Let's let's do this. Bug is pretty good. There we go. We got a score pad early. We are rocking the alternate skin. Whoops, I didn't mean to be on speed mode there. I was, I was setting up the elite, and thankfully you can do that in speed mode, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. We've already got a fire bonus, which is great. Force sleep is really good. Volcano is also really good. Both of those are great options. Uh, so Scorpet is like a... I, I'm, I'm going to try and like go over creatures really briefly in, in this episode. That way people can start to learn them that better. For anybody who isn't actively playing the game, it's it's nice to know what's going on. So Monku is uh, on hurt condition. Gain, uh, gain attack, which is really nice. Resets after every battle, and we get 50% uh, of that as the, the special uh, spread across all the enemies, which is pretty nice. You can see here, Scorpet is uh, faint, the front enemy, uh, or ally faint to deal uh, five damage, the front enemy, which is pretty good. It's not bad. And then they, they scale up with their special pretty crazily, so pretty cool unit. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we're, we're, I, I think I'll just like hover over them, and if you really need to see what the units do, we'll, we'll just, you know, you'll, you'll be able to just pause and, and read and give it a moment here and there. Paranoot was uh, the core of our team last time, even though it was a Frost team. Uh, Paranoot ended up really, really carrying us, so... We, I, I mean, I, I kind of have to take them here, because I'm not going to take a Scorpet level up. That's That'd be silly. That would just be silly, but um, we're, we're going to have an awkward party for a little while here. That's for certain. While well, we've, we've got no tank, Cactot, I would love to make a Cactot teamwork. Um, we also have access to Peblo, and Peblo would be our, our best bet as, at having a tank early on like this. Cactot pairs really well with um, j just any, any old Spikes user, really. But uh, having like an Earth Comp would be uh, an effective way of getting a, uh, a Spikes tank going. And... Uh, the, the, the main problem with Cactot is that it makes it so enemy spikes also poison, which is a little bit awkward. You, you almost need, like, a, a cure-all, like a, a snows to try and help with that. It, and it feels like a really slow way of generating poison, so... I'm definitely very iffy on Cactot currently. I, they, they might be okay, but I, I gotta mess around with them more, that's for certain. Uh, that said... Peblo gives us an extra wind and an extra earth, which gives us double synergy. I think Cactot will have to wait, because uh, this is just a lot of synergies to, to pass up on, that's for certain. And, uh, you know, er early game we're just trying to get, like, something functional. Something that kind of works. Okay, we've got Lumant. Lumant is pretty cool. Pretty sure two fire, two muscle turns it into a very strong creature. We get uh, an alternate form. And I would be tempted to go for that. We've already got the fire part of the team, and then we just need the muscle part. I don't know if we'll uh, hone in on that, but that's definitely the, the creature that stands out in the, the party currently. 
And I could uh, very easily see myself replacing uh, my Paranute, like, immediately. Like, it's, it's, it's cute, it's kind of doing stuff, but it's not really the direction I want to take my party this time. So we will definitely take a, a Lumant. It's good stuff, and uh, I think we're going to reorder our party to look like that. Maybe this. Maybe that's a little better. And we'll we'll keep it rolling. See what other kind of Oh, it's a shiny Lumant! <laughs> oh my god, the shinies! This I've been so lucky today. This is my uh my second shiny that I've found. That's so cool. Oh man, we have to do Lumant now. That's so cool. And once again, there's two ways of locking in a shiny. You can win with it, or you can uh, turn it in at the, the, the shop. We're, we're definitely gonna try and win with this one. Last, last shiny I came across was Rokorm, uh, just in our, our last run, and, uh, I, I, I gave him up, and I, I feel a little bad. I feel like I gave my boy up for adoption. It felt wrong. Uh, so this time we're not gonna do that. This time we're gonna try and make it work. So let me get the Luman. So, ju just to be clear, when I take the bonus XP, it should turn into a shiny. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Uh, yeah, so now they are shiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't don't worry about the whole buy-sell shenanigans or anything like that. It should be good to go. And, uh, yeah, our team's looking pretty good. Pretty decent so far. We do need some melees, but uh, we can we can find them in other means. I'm not doing the, the misprint unlock that way. That's for certain. Wind is uh, not good. I don't really value the the wind bonus, but what I do value is wind turning into earth, which is pretty darn good. Um, yeah, yeah, that would be good. Hmm. Hmm. It's a bit of a long shot. I think we've got other things that we want to do with this party. We're going to go ahead and bypass that for now. Even though it is really tempting. Because it would give us a bonus now and a bonus later. I, th I think it's not the way to go. I don't think that's the direction we're headed with this team. So go ahead and give Peblo uh, a little bit closer to that level up. And we'll we'll keep hunting for uh, that, that muscle bonus. There's one from Barry. Barry is great. And obviously pairs well with Lumant. Uh, Villipede would also go really well, but uh, we, we really do need to start hunting down those muscles. And we could always grab Villipede for the team later. I, I guess I don't have to transform Lumant. Non-token ally faint summon one spark plug. And then the other option is to, to get the, the muscle variant. Hmm. Or we could go Bug Comp. Bug Comp is also totally reasonable. Who do I dump in our Bug Comp? Maybe Monku? I'm, I'm kind of tempted to go Bug. Maybe we do go Bug instead. I think we'll do that. Let's, let's go Bug. I've, I've talked myself into it. I was tempted to do the alternate evolution, but uh, I've, th I've thought about it now, and we, we can always do it later. Luman's already evolving. Here we go! Into filament! Oh wow, it's like a green-blue. That's nice. It's a nice color scheme. Okay, so we're definitely grabbing Villipede here. And uh, we will go ahead and just throw Monku out for now. Do the party order something like this. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, the score pet's a little bit far forward. The problem with the uh, bugs is they don't have any tanks. So it's pretty awkward. Pretty awkward, for sure. But, uh, hopefully we'll find something that starts to work a little better. I guess we could, uh... You know what, I'm gonna take the mini boss. We'll see what happens. We've got another lightning. Lightning synergy would be pretty good. I would appreciate it, for sure. Yeah, I think I think we go for the Lightning Synergy, and I'll just put that on Villipede, who I believe is the other party member that I'm, I'm guaranteed keeping. Oh my goodness! Here we go. 
Here we go. I don't know if we're winning. I don't know if I'm ready for this. What are these guys? Are these like machine type? Oh, this is weird. They're machine earth. Grapateal. Gra Graptial. Any faint grant other allies dusk. Or one last wish. Grant all other allies regen. Hurt. Grant all other allies shield. Any revive. Heal all allies five. Hurt. Deal two damage to front enemy. The lowest HP enemy to the front. Okay, so they're, they're gonna like trade tank, trade tank forever. This is gonna be really scary. Um, I'm hoping we win. <laughs> I have no idea. So th this is what happens when you encounter a legendary. And um, yeah, they're basically to set them up, you have to press the, the correct buttons on the, uh, the the one little mini game. Oh my god, they're gonna be shuffling us around. That's really scary. That is really, really scary. Orbital's gonna do their best to blow up real big. Good job, Orbital. Trying trying its best. Confused Fly did not get any work done at all. That's really bad. That is really, really bad. They are so tanky, man. Okay, we, we Alarm Karis is... Oh, no. Oh, no. They're pivoting all over the place. Are we gonna lose? I don't know if you get the legendary if you lose. We'll, we'll have to find out. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Oh, my God. Chrono Visor. Hurt trigger other allies hurt triggers one time. Oh my god. That is a, a spicy one for sure. We're uh, we're definitely going to have to do a full team pivot to make that thing work. My goodness. My goodness. Hopefully the, the confused stacks are going to be enough to, to keep us going here. We're actually doing okay. Our, our, it's, it's like a little bit slow going with our current team. Um, but may maybe we'll be all right. I don't know. Oh, it's it. Uh, it's a little scary. Yeah, I think we might be losing this. Oh my god, the the last second pivot might be what saves us, though. Let's see. Oh no. Yeah, we're we're doomed. We're a little doomed. I I see the the writing on the wall. It's it's close because Filament is like putting in a lot of work. We gotta we gotta shout out Filament here for sure. We're putting in all this effort, but it's not gonna be enough. I wonder if I get the legendary or not. Because normally when you lose, you do get the bonus regardless. Let's find out. Come on. No, we don't get the legendary, dude. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that's good to know. In future legendary hunts, you want to go after it a little bit later. But at least we know what it does now, so that that's like a positive. That's a good thing. Even though we didn't get the legendary, at least we got the encounter and we got the the intel. That's those are two valuable things for sure. Um, <laughs> that said, I'm I'm a little sad. Now we know how to legendary hunt though. I think I'll I'll probably put like a, a video out about that. That seems like a, a really cool thing to potentially go for. Seems like some valuable intel for sure. All right, what do we got here? Whisper and I mean that does give us a dusk fire. It doesn't really match with what we're going for. But I don't hate it. I'll, I'll grab it for now. Might end up using it. We'll see. Um, Who else would be really useful? I, th I think we're just going to look for an extra bug type. Earth is good. Earth is quite good. Um... I think we give Filament Earth and be pretty happy with that. We're not going to worry about any split evolutions with uh, Filament. I, th I think we'll be fine without it. And we can just hone more in on the, the bug team. 
Bad Boon might be a, a good one to try and get bug type onto. That would be really nice. I wonder if there should be other ways of potentially transferring types. Like, maybe you could have imprinting, where it's like, if, if you get a creature at a low enough level, surrounded by um, a certain type, maybe they could, like, take on the type of the others. Somehow. I don't know. Would that, would that be too good? It could be interesting. Could be an interesting little thing to play around with. Look at that. Orbital's up to 22 uh, thorns there. That was some pretty good damage. And now we're going to see a ton of Confuse, which is going to ramp up Villipede's damage a whole bunch, which is great. It's going to be pretty solid. Scorpad doesn't really fit this team 100%. I, I guess it's okay. I just really need a, a tank bug, to be honest. Let's see if we can make something like that happen. With any luck. With any luck, we'll get something. But yeah, the party's looking good. Villipede is doing enemy dizzy trigger deal two damage to them. So the, the, there should be like a every time it attacks, it's taking dizzy damage, which is pretty good. Scorpet is definitely not quite at the tank level that I need uh, as a, a second liner. That's for certain. I was hoping that their ability would go off a little bit more with the uh, the lightning special. But it certainly was not enough, unfortunately. Sparkplug has the weird effect of, like, trying to get to the back line. Um, and then on attack, it gives other units the... Other units the um, energy, which is pretty nice. It's, it's not bad. It's not too bad. I definitely don't think this is the, the strongest form of this creature, though. I feel like the spark plugs could be a little stronger. Okay. Are we are we gonna lose to Queen Struction? I can't say I've had that happen terribly often. But it's starting to look like we may. Hopefully Dizzy can carry us a little bit. Assisting is on the board. Oh man, here we go. Confused fly getting some stuff done. Oh my god. There's so much damage on the unit that I really can't afford damage on. Oh, man. We might... Oh, it's so close. No! You stupid bug! Oh, God. We're gonna lose. Not like this, dude. We're... Oh, we lost to Acorny. Oh, Acorny. God damn it, dude. Oh, Jesus. This is what I mean. Bug kind of... Like, as much as I call every type good, Bug feels like they, they're they not, like, worth going past two. Or past, past like, a synergy of, of one. So, like, having... The two synergy is great. Anything more than that, and they, they just, like, really start to fall apart. And I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Like, that's fine. You can have a... Like, it, you don't have to build a whole team around every archetype. It's fine if they have, like, you know, be better synergies when they're splashed into a team, right? And I, th I think that's the situation we're seeing here, is that a, a full bug team just doesn't work. And, like, even right now, for example, we don't even have a full bug team. We've only got a partial bug team, and it's it's still really struggling. Because all of, th all of these units really want, like, one specific thing. Uh, but that said, I think Filament, I don't know, Filament might be just, like, a little bit weak in its, its base form. We'll have to experiment some more and see what we can do. Um, none of these are really matching up with what I'm going for, so I might just take, uh, the lucky coin and be pretty happy about that. Get some extra money generating. We're gonna go ahead and do a little sell right away. And I should have probably had the battery on. That might have made the difference in that last boss fight. I've, I've definitely grown complacent the more I've played this game, where, um, you know, I'm, I'm not too worried about losing. That's a, that's a shiny. That is a shiny right there. I don't know if that's a shiny I already have or not, though. I think I have that shiny. 
I'll have to look it up. I'll have to take a quick gander. Let's see if uh, we can figure it out. Oh my god, that's a lot. Where's all this poison coming from? What are they doing? <laughs> Holy shit, man. Oh my god, Philoman has an insane item and it's just ripping through my... Uh... Oh my god. The worst part about this is I can't even acquire the item. Because I'd have to sell my filament to get it. So, like, despite this being such a fantastic combo, I'm not going to be able to get a hold of it. Am I going to lose here? I might just lose. Maybe I should shut up and hope that we actually survive. Yeah, we, we may well just lose here. Oh my god. That's... <laughs> it's not good at all. Come on, spark plugs! Oh my god, we are actually relying on our uh, our summons. We're actually relying on our summons to to win this. And we might lose everything here. We might lose our shiny. We might lose our. Oh, I, th I think we are. Oh my god, there, there's too much poison. We need to beat this guy, otherwise we lose. Oh, man. Come on, baby. He's got two Fortify. No. No. <laughs> I lost my shiny. I lost my legendary. Oh, what a disaster. All right. Well, that just goes to show you. You can't you can't just uh, goof around in this game. You got to you got to focus up. That is such a dang shame. All right. Well, uh, it's okay. New run, new me. <laughs> Just don't make the same mistake twice. An early Turtort would be sick. Um. Hmm. I know I'm gonna get a Mashiki if I go this way. I, I feel like the, the early encounters, like encounter one, the pool is super narrow on what you can get. And, uh, like, it, it'll show you all of the creatures that you could theoretically get. But on the first encounter, they're always going to give you someone that'll lose to your, your two-creature combo. Um, so it really limits you in terms of what you can gain. We're going to take the quick cash, and uh, we're going to be a little bit more aggressive this time. Crackpot is really good. Fishing Hook is really good. I'm going to take Fishing Hook for now, because uh, permanent scaling is really good. And we have bonus money, so we should think about spending it right away. Um, Kittle would scale up. Ox Imp is good, obviously. Uh, Armachillo just goes in just about every combo ever. Very good unit as well. Ooh, or Raycold. We want to go for a splash comp. It's an option. It is an option. Hmm. Hmm. We're just thinking of what the splash comp would look like. I mean, I, I guess we could do splash comp early and then pivot off of it. I think we did a splash comp recently with Oracle and uh, the, the one variant of Kreeze. So maybe we won't go for that, but I, I will bring uh, Oracle with me. It's pretty good. All right. What do we got here? A Shaka! Okay, okay. Alright. Shaka would be fun. Shaka was like one of my favorite units in the uh, early access. Just because of the insane amount of uh, energy generation that they get. Although it's only ally head hurt now, so I, I think we need to get them like a jetpack so that way they can really min-max their uh, their energy generation. Let's try to make a weirdo Shaka hurt team. I think we can do some crazy stuff with that. We're gonna do an energy gen team. I've, I've decided. This is the lad who we're building around today. Oracle is definitely putting in some good work. Not gonna lie. With all that splash, it, it definitely did some stuff. Okay. So, Shaka, you're coming with me. And uh, so we're not wasting a bunch of XP on Knock. We're gonna go that route. It's funny, last episode I was talking about being good enough at this game to win with three. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, lost like 20 minutes into an episode. Kind of kind of brutal. Laraka is a new guy that I just unlocked, and I'm really excited to do some summon teams with him. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I think he goes pretty crazy. That's a lot of speed. And if, if you had that with like an algae, you could just feed the speed into it over and over. And that would be quite strong, I imagine. Could do some spicy stuff with that. Lots of energy being generated, that's for certain. Good stuff. Shaka is just going to go to sleep forever now. <laughs> that's just what Shaka do. I don't know what kind of extra benefits we can get from sleeping ourselves. I don't know if there really is much, to be honest. I guess we can sleep the, the knocking, which would be pretty good. Of course, it's going to steal the, the regen as well, but... The regen is not that big of a deal, as far as I'm concerned. Shaka makes for such a spectacular tank. Like, look at this. We can't even kill him! <laughs> there we go. There we go. It took a little while. It took a little while there. But we got it. Um... Yeah, I mean... I think we'll take the early Shaka level up. I think that'll be really nice. The fishing hook might end up being, uh, like a dead weight item. But I'm okay with that, because I think it was worth taking anyway. Even, even for a chance. Even for a chance, you know? Um, if I were after anything out of these guys, let's see. Hmm. I mean, there's, there's not really much that, that matches up out of these groups. I guess Bulby could be pretty cool. Let's do that. Okay, we didn't get Bulby. I think I think we're trying to find like a self-shuffle party. That's the objective: is to make a party that shuffles itself and uh, is is like really effective in multiple positions. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll see how it works out. Which means that I might get to use my favorite boy. This might be a Krakut episode. We'll see. There's a uh, there's definitely a realm where I, I see Krakut coming into play. Wow, that was <laughs> they just kind of all died at once. Kind of love to see it. Kind of sick with it. The the splash is definitely pretty good against low HP targets. Very very strong. Love to see it. All right. Um, ally gain, uh, ally attack gain splash is pretty good right now, but empty jar seems like it's gonna be really good later, so I'm gonna take that for now. None of these units are really matching up with what I'm looking to do. Slomala is like a little bit of move stuff, so maybe we'll end up running that at some point. Uh, let's go ahead and put the jar there for the time being. And let's carry on. What do we got? We got grass. I just don't value it very much, to be honest. I really don't. I could take care of uh, Shaka's levels early, I guess. It's fine. I guess maybe I could have taken it and then converted it into fire for uh, raw damage. That might have been a decent option. Or maybe I just need to respect grass a little bit more. But honestly, I don't feel like I do. <laughs> I don't feel any need to... Respect grass at all. Um, Kaima Rays. We've been looking for an opportunity to use it. I don't think it really fits in this party, but it would give me some more electric bonus, and I'm definitely game to hunt some some electric and see how we fare with that. Look at that, just barely tanked their way. Good job, Kreese. Good job being a tank. And now the, the damage starts to, to rip on through. Look at that. Look at that regen. Oh my god. Is he going to live though? He might just die anyway. Okay, he's, he's, he's sleeping. No, he didn't live. Oh my god. Are we going to lose to these guys? It's starting to look like it. Oh, maybe not. They all died. They all died at once. Love to see it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab Hisper. Not to be confused with Whisper. And... I don't know. Like, I was I was thinking about getting rid of Oracle. For the, 
for the triple electric. That's pretty good. I, I really haven't toyed with electric since the early access. And I thought it was really good in early access, but I, I just... I don't know. I haven't really used it as much, for whatever reason. Okay. Um, this party positioning is fine, but I think I think we can get away with Spark on the back. Just to min-max the amount of uh, energy we're getting. Seems pretty good. I want to see how... Uh, if we're spamming Hisper's ability, is that, like, enough to get this rolling? It looks like it's only if it gains strength. Deal, uh... Oh, no, it, it does it regardless of who gains the strength. That's good. That's good to know. But that means it would combo well with, um, some other units that do strength gain. I, I guess we've got two different different potential pivot points at this point. We could either go the Sparka line or we could go the Hisper line. But regardless, we're, we're trying to find a... Um, so, some form of uh, electric team is the, the current objective. That much is clear. Um, could work on a level up. Or I could get Kit Zap and get the quad electric and see what their alternate evolution is. That sounds really cool. That sounds like a really cool idea. Uh, we could get a random item, or we could gain an ally. Hmm. What's our, what's our next fight looking like? Need to take a look at the map. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Let's take an extra ally. Could be anybody. Even Whisper. Even a Whisper. Okay, am I more interested in a muscle or a bug? I, I really, really want... Um, a dark type, or the, the the specific singular dust type, but it's not showing up just yet. Let's head, let's head over this path. Look at that! There's Mo Shade. Enemy faint, passive. What? That seems cool. That seems really cool. That's funny that there's a kit zap, a kit zap, and a Mo Shade. Non-token ally grant a random ally. Wait, non-token ally faint. Grant random ally dusk. Grant all other allies one attack, then attack, then take two damage two times. So it's a self-damage Andy. Interesting. This is a pretty dangerous team that we've run into. Um, there's a reasonable chance we lose with the fear, because we're going to be super behind on tempo. We'll see. Maybe we'll be okay. Hisper and uh, Shaka might be able to carry us if we're lucky. Kitsap's gaining a lot of speed thanks to the champion belt. Which would be nice to have, but I don't think we're going to gain access to that, sadly. This is a pretty cool team to come up against uh, for Floor 1, though. These are some real-ass dudes. These are some real-ass dudes. I tell you. But uh, it looks like we're going to be okay. Kitsap's current synergy definitely isn't lining up super well. Um, oh my god, he killed himself. <laughs> it's, it's alarming. It's alarming for the, the future of what we're going to be doing. We are getting so much regen on Sparka. The problem is Sparka doesn't attack very often. He's got that 20 uh, attack speed, but like, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's enough. Oh, there we go. That regen tank. Goddamn. Take that, Scorpane. It's up to 24 attack. That Scorpane really scaled up. Impressive stuff. Very impressive damage out of Hisper there. Very cool to see. Okay, so we definitely want... Oh, no. I guess we don't get the item. Unless we want to do the... If we if we want to lose some EXP, we can take the item. This is a brand new item. Heavy Belt would also be really cool. Uh, I think it's worth a little bit of XP to, to make that happen. Let's do it. I think the Heavy Belt's a, a lot better than the, the Eye Pendant here. So we'll take that. And... Got another one of these. It's Wind. Uh, I was shit-talking wind earlier, but 
it's it, I mean it's a type it is a type it does exist it's it's good with electric okay like more attacks is more energy so I'm gonna take it and who am I gonna put it on I'd love to start like throwing dusk on things but I mean we're not really a dusk comp so let's not worry about it let's let's just go ahead and put it on Sparka because I think Sparka's here to stay. And we'll see how this rolls. I'm not gonna bother leveling up. This should be fine. In theory. We'll see. I've got reasonable hope. I think we're looking pretty strong currently. Like we, we do have good damage output at the very least. That said, right now Champion Belt isn't doing anything on, on this party, but hopefully we'll be able to get some uh, attack gain. Right now, Zipstrat is at the very top of the chopping block, despite uh, handing out energy like candy. I, I, and the, the splash is, like, pretty okay. I don't think it's going to be enough. And Kid Zap, as soon as they get rid of their taunt, I think they're going to be a lot more useful to this team. Because right now they're they're kind of just killing themselves with taunt. I don't know why Queen Struction hit Sparka there instead of Kit Zap, but I appreciate that. Force enemy to attack this target, right? Remove unit. Yeah, I don't know why they're hitting my Sparka instead. There's there's so many like weird little interactions in this game, and obviously we're we're still in like an early access variant of the game, so I I never know whether it's like a a bug or if it's like a mechanic that I'm not fully understanding. Th this one's probably a bug, though. I'll, I'll go ahead and report that sometime soon. Shocked just is so crazy. <laughs> what a bonkers effect. Look at this poor guy. Instruction has nothing. Meanwhile, Spark is just sleeping on the competition. Goddamn. Alright. You can definitely see who's pulling their weight and who's not. That's for certain. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a slime here. That was proven how good it was last time. Turning all lightning into toxic sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> it doesn't. I mean, we'd uh, we'd go from a quad lightning to a quad toxic, which would be funny, but I don't think that's really what we're after. And I have to think about muscle duality a little bit. Are there any? Let me let me just like look at the the list here. Are there any muscle units that I'd I'd love to be the other way around, or any dusk units that I'd rather be muscle? Uh, hmm. Hmm. God, there's a lot of dudes, aren't there? Can't get belief, belief. I don't know. Gen generally, like they're better on their their own side of things. It's just one of those. One of those situations. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything super enticing, to be honest. Okay. Alrighty. We'll just carry on with uh, Loose Gems. Loose Gems is decent. It's definitely the lame option. Okay, so we're still looking for our little grub, uh, or bu Bulby. Looking for that Bulby, I think that would pair really well. Gonna continue looking for that Bulby, because we can't get the, the back line out of there. It's not gonna happen. Um, we possibly should have leveled up here. I think we're gonna spend our money on our, uh, our next little camp. And just hope that helps us out a bunch. I think it will. Spark asleep. We, we snoozing. Snoozing on the competition. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of damage. There we go. <laughs> Sparka really cuts it close. I, I feel like I need more, uh, more max health or something. It might help. I guess we'll work on that. Are we gonna lose to these guys because we didn't level up? It's starting to look like a yes. Man, I am, I am just out of it this run. I thought me, like, leaving to go get food and... 
you know, go be a normal human was gonna help. It, it has not helped. It's made me play worse. Okay, there's a Zumbus. That makes me feel a little better about life. Just because he's a happy little guy. Um, drums would be sick, for sure. And we're gonna just... I, I'm, I'm not... Well, yes. No, I am. I, I want to get everybody to level 2. And mo getting Mo Shade right away here would be big. Here we go. Here we go. Kidzap's alternate form. Mo Shade. What a funny little guy. Cute little doggo dude. Non-token ally faint. Grant one random ally. Last wish. Grant other allies attack, then take two damage two times. That's that's really not that bad. Especially if we can get like some healing to offset that. Which we certainly can. Which would be great. That'd be very good. Uh, let's go ahead and put a shield there, and we'll put the speed here. We'll try to get you leveled up. It didn't quite work. Hmm. -hmm. Are there any of these that look like Mo Shade with would evolve with? I don't know. I'm gonna go go ahead and take a look at some of the hyper evolutions here because these are all new guys for me to hyper evolve. Okay. I've got a general idea on what items I'm after now. I'm going to start off by purchasing this, and then I need to combine it with something to do an alarm clock. And I need to combine this with a leaking battery, and that'll evolve Moshade. So that's that's a good start. I'm, I'm not even going to think about Zumbus, because I, I think Zumbus is going to go at some point in the near future. Uh, and I, I'm pretty confident with a restock here now, so let's do it early. Ooh, we got our Bulby. I think we might just grab that. I don't really have anything in here that I super desperately want. But I definitely want Bulby. Because Bulby replacing Zumbus here means that uh, Ally Revived move them back. Grant allies behind one, uh, one thingamabob. So we might be able to make, like, a loop, is kind of what I'm hoping. We might be able to make an infinite loop if we find the right items. That's what I'm banking on. We'll see if we can go infinite if we get clever enough. Because I, th I think we're on the path to infinity. That's what it feels like. I... Th I th <laughs> I feel so silly going for, like, dusk comps so often. It's just so splashable, you know? It, wor it works in so, so many different team compositions. It's kind of absurd. Everybody's got their, uh, their one free revive, which is great. So how far back do you move teammates? Just only one. But I, I assume once they uh, evolve, it'll go to two, and then again after that, it'll be three. So that should be pretty good. Sparka gonna get their attack off to get a big heal? Yes, they are. Look at that. It is just lovely. Okay. Not too shabby. Hisper is gaining a pretty decent amount of speed. I might want to put that somewhere else. Here we go. Hisper's evolving into Kaima Rays. Very cool. Very cool indeed. And we got a jar of dirt. You know, I love me a jar of dirt. I can't resist the jar of dirt. Um, something like that looks fine. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. So we, we lost an electric by having Bulby in the party, but hopefully we can recover that at some point in the near future. Uh, we can gain a physical type. I don't think... I think we're very far away from getting a physical type. I'm game, I'm game to train. I think that's really good. And we'll just put that on Kyma Rays. Because they're the one that gets the benefit from the strength stuff anyway. Makes sense to me. Okay. Uh, looking like a pretty easy fight. Or so I imagine. We'll see. 
Oh my goodness. The speed! You can see that, uh, that electric's already spreading like wildfire. I'm a little afraid of knocking, not gonna lie. I think knocking might be a bit of a menace against this squad. <laughs> it's, it's definitely kind of scary. Especially if he steals Kaima raises a... Well, I guess he won't steal the passive. He'll just steal the active. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll be okay. I don't know. We'll have to find out. One way or another. Slamala, Brophasia, Blizzacian, Gatapote. None of these are helpful to me. But they are all extra XP, which is great. I'm a big fan of that. Telescope is kind of wild. We could do a lot of self-damage with... Uh, with Mo Shade, if we wanted. Not that I, I want to. I'm gonna go ahead and evolve uh, Bulby as well. Might as well. And I think it's time we start dumping these extra lads for the extra XP. Because none of them are jumping in on this party, that's for certain. Zumbis can stick around, because there's, there's potential there, for sure. Turtort also has some, poten some potential, don't get me wrong. There's there's definitely some units that I could see sneaking in on this party still. Um, we should probably just spend these. I'm just going to spend them kind of evenly for now. That way I don't have to think too much about it. There we go. We'll see how we do. Um... Yeah, we, we should have, like, an easy fight here. I don't really see any challenge. J just because they're all, like, tanks, right? They're literally all tanks, plus Zumbus in the back, which is not where Zumbus should be. So it's easy peasy for me. It's interesting how certain types are way, way harder to battle than others. Uh, like, significantly so. Like, a poison team can take out even a well-constructed team sometimes without really any change. But then, you know, you, you come across some teams and they, they just, they don't have any tanks or they're all tanks and makes them rather bad, comparatively. Very interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and take another Loudener because that will be good later. I'm gonna get rid of Vibracian right away just so I don't, I'm not tempted. <laughs> don't tempt me. Uh, Furtoise would be pretty good. Or sorry, four toys, not fur toys. Furry turtle sounds really weird. Um. Hmm. What kind of like multi procs would I want? I don't know. Not sure I'd want any of those. Bypass it for now. Ice type. We're just gonna take the XP and be happy. Ice type doesn't really match up with what we're going for. Eh, go ahead and throw that on the... I, I'm gonna try to see if I can get Sparka to level 3. I thought about it and I realized that having Sparka at 3 would be really helpful. Ooh, a, a Flame Belt and an Instigator. Instigator was originally, like, part of the plan for my team. With, like, a Sparka move comp. I'm willing to pivot back to a Sparka move comp if it shows up. I think we take Instigator and start flame belting it. And just see what happens. We might be able to make something happen still. Because, like, Twiggit, Sp uh, Twiggit Sparka is, like, a good move comp on its own. And then I just need to ask myself, do I get rid of Mo Shade or Chimera Rays? And I, I feel like, you know, they're, they're both pretty decent options to to move from the party. So I think I'll definitely go with the instigator over the, the flame belt for now. And there's the alarm clock. So I think we combine alarm clock and loudner to get the thing that evolves um, Sparka. Let me double check that. Never mind, it's just the alarm clock that uh, 
that does the thing. Gain to sleep, trigger all allies' attacks one time. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. <laughs> that's that's kind of nuts, considering how much asleep we gain. That should be pretty good. Um, we're gonna be re-rolling pretty aggressively. I'm, I'm definitely gonna take a sheriff's badge for Deputile, which is gonna allow them to evolve in the long run. And there, there's not really too much purpose beyond that for any of that stuff, so we'll, we'll just carry on for now. There's another one, and there's Strength Applied to Poison. It'd be good with Chimerae's, but not that good. It would, it would just be okay. And we've got Ten Taser, which is more, he's more of a poison guy than a than a, an electric guy. It's one of those things you have to really try and identify who's good where. Rabonicle is actually kind of sick with that item. I'm glad that we're not doing a lot of frail and neither are they. That's definitely going to make my life a lot easier. Yeah, it's interesting how uh, some... Uh, what do you call it? So, some of the tribes or uh, types feel more like they're they're intended to have like a whole build surrounding them versus others where it, it feels like they're just you know they're just getting by they're just like a, a, you, you'd splash them in rather than making a whole team centered around them that was a lot of damage yeah Ravonicle took itself out with that electric not too shabby okay um we could get the lightning comb or we could look to Gain some more XP. Is Rabonicle going to be a part of this party long term? I don't think so, but I'm going to take them as an option. We should we should build like a secondary team potentially this time around. I'm not super sold on my current team. Uh, we can gain physical type again. God damn. I'm annoyed this event showed up twice because I could have just gotten free physical. I'm going to go ahead and train again. And we're going to put it on... Um, instigator. Let's do it. There we go. Okay. Man, that alarm clock, clock combo is truly insane. Just thinking about it. Some nutty stuff you can do with that. Okay. We're definitely going to make sure that uh, Sparka is hypered for the, the next boss fight. Because I think that's going to make our lives significantly easier. Oh my goodness, look at that attack scaling up. I think Moshade is uh, definitely a, a long-term partner at this point. And the reason I'm saying that is because the attack gain is going to be really, really good with the alarm clock. Where it's going to repeatedly uh, cause like these super massive attacks to happen. It should be really, really good. Okay, here we go. Sparka's getting their initial evolution into Shanka. Look at that. Grass electric Snorlax. You thought you'd never see it, but here it is. Okay, so one of these and then one of these. Here we go. And... <laughs> Damn, look at him. Hyper Shanka. What, a, what an evolution. Holy moly. Looks crazy. Reminds me of slacking a little bit. It's like if slacking didn't give up. <laughs> if slacking tried, we'd have a hyper Shanka. I definitely have to get one more health on it. Just for optimal HP. But we'll we'll see what we can do about that. We're gonna start handing out jars of dirt. For sure. Love me some jars of dirt. Something like that should be good. And we've got a boss fight against Kanok. I don't think there's any possible way we lose this. Pretty sure Shanka just solos this boss. Like, no joke. Chimerase is doing some stuff. Definitely putting out... The shock is just so over. It's just so over because of the way it keeps multiplying it. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's real nasty. My biggest concern with Chimerae's existing 
is honestly that if I take it out of my party, I'm the one that's gonna get shocked. Which is kind of terrifying to think about. <laughs> because this thing is just demolishing. It's a little scary. There we go. Not too shabby. Um, turn all lightning to toxic. Once again, I'm gonna refuse that for sure. Uh, ally moved, gain shield could be good. And we definitely, definitely want a uh, health potion. Which means we're not going to get to optimal health on Shanka. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm going past optimal. <laughs> we could, we're going the distance on this one. Um. Okay, I'm really interested in scaling up this instigator. And uh, the, the window is closing quickly. So we got to... Send it and pray. We did not find the flame band, but we did find another health potion, so that's good. Yeah, I don't know. We might not have the uh, the opportunity. Before attack, deal equal damage to the amount of units uh, in the box at two random targets. So that's up to six. So, yeah, I mean, it's... Deal two times Kato'mon and box to all enemies. It's, it's just like... It's okay. It just seems like a high maintenance playstyle. I should probably try it out at some point. Um, button, button. What could we button? That would be nice. We could button fire. That would get rid of heavy belt. Hmm. We could also curse Shamisen. That would be really good with Kaima rays. I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's just try out the boss and see what happens. How afraid am I? Uh, I'm gonna say moderately afraid. Is there any way I can like improve my chances? Hmm. Not really. <laughs> I think. I think we're just kind of gonna have to send it. Honestly. I don't think there's too much crazy stuff we can do. I guess we could take off Heavy Belt for, like, Toxic or something. It's not going to scale up, though, like we need. The Slime might be really good. Let's run Slime. All right. Feeling a little bit more confident. I'm realizing now just how... L oh my god. <laughs> because they all gain strength, Kyber Rays is a hard counter to knocking. I didn't even consider that. Holy shit. What an insane hard counter that is. Look at how unfair this is. Oh my god. He's just completely screwed. That is wonderful. And he, j he just hit the snooze button. He's sleeping forever. He's actually so unbelievably screwed, it's amazing. I was not expecting this team to put in this kind of work. I oh my god. Knocking is just dunzo. Not even remotely close. Alright, well this, this team's a lot better than I thought. What have you done to yourself? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, that was a thing. That was fun. That was a fun little fight. It's crazy how knocking can be like the, the worst guy or the best guy. And there's very little in between. Okay, we got our flame belt. Um, might be a little late, but we'll try it out. Let's see if we can make it happen. Do I dump Shanka for a while? Just box him? While we're scaling up our, uh, our instigator? Hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna kill him. Honestly. I guess... Let's try it like this for now. And we'll see how it goes. I should definitely... I don't know what I should do. Not really certain. I go for as many fights as possible, I suppose, is the answer. 
I'm gonna start from over here. I think I'll grab a Papachi just to get it into the the list of units. Okay. Come on, kill my instigator. Do it. Do it! Oh my god. <laughs> he's Oh, he's too he's too invulnerable. How do I kill him? I need like a, a berry to start munching on him or something. And that would help a lot. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if Instigator is gonna work. I mean, I guess Moshade's giving him extra attack. Which does improve him quite a lot. I need, um... I need Jetpack. Or esca Escape Plan. Quick Escape on uh, Hyper Shanka. There's so many items Hyper Shanka wants. Or Shanka in general, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I need some way to like move them back. Because that, that would give me so much more value than what we're currently getting. Okay. We just got this guy because we could. Um, we still got the slime ball. We need the leaky battery. Should be hunting for that, probably. Um, fishing hook is just not really coming into play, is it? I've got so many items that I want to use, <laughs> but I'd, surely they're not all going to be useful. Let's just start dumping some. Okay. Let's work on that. Frozen fire is not going to be helpful here. That's all well and good. Oh my god, he looks so cool. I have not seen the level 3 version of, of this guy. That's so cool. We gotta try and get a party going with that guy. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just getting a confused team is really hard. That's, that's like the main problem. Yes! 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 <laughs> Finally! Finally it worked. All right, Instigator now has three attack instead of just two. Pog. Maybe Chimpire can take him out another time. That would be really good for us. Why is my Twiggit in the back? That's like the worst spot for him to be. Is this a me? I think I did this. Moshade can be further back, I guess. Come on. The bombs will hopefully take out Instigator. I think they will. And that'll give me an extra attack bonus. Which would be good. There we go. Yeah, this is this is how you make Instigator good. You just gotta give him a bunch of attack. It's just that easy. Moshade's weird. Because he just guaranteed kills himself. Definitely a weird unit. Not sure how I feel about them yet. Um, gain fast, gain strength. I kind of need the other op the other way around, more than anything. Go ahead and ye eat a glass bill really quick. Let's reorganize our team. Okay. Run over this way. I'll definitely take a mini boss fight for sure. Rackenaus. We don't have an option to to pivot our party, so we're just gonna have to deal. I think we're in like a pretty good party position overall. Oh my god! <laughs> Poor instigator, taking a lot of extra damage here just to start the the match off. Yeah, Drakenaus is a weird guy. Oh god. Okay, thank goodness. That's honestly about as good as we could hope. Oh my god. The instigator, calm down. <laughs> Instigator's crazy, man. He actually just does so much. Not to be slept on. I do wonder if we can get, like, an infinite regen... Or, like, life combo with uh, Twiggit Chanka or something along that line. 
Okay, that was really good. That was really good. The flame belt uh, procced, I think, twice there. Which is exactly what we need. Um, we'll take a Shamisen. Could turn Dusk into melee, but I think that's a terrible idea. <laughs> I think that's a really bad idea. I hate all of these. I'm gonna skip it. I'm not, I'm not in the business of skipping those normally. But uh, it was one of those situations where I think it was the right call. And we're gonna get rid of our fishing line finally. Been holding on to it all game. Dreaming of bonus max health. But it's not happening. And we gotta we gotta be real about that. So instigators up to three attack now, which is pretty good. Um do we want to go for some bonus types or do we want to go for some more elites? I guess is the question. I would love to get my lightning synergy back up. Right now it's a little on the low side. I don't know, was this party better? I kind of want to go back to Chimera Rays. Hyper Shanka being the only true electric is really unfortunate. <laughs> that being the only electric on our team. Or primary electric, not true electric, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I mean, th this party's good, but, like, I'd, I want something even stronger, you know? We gotta, we gotta scale up even harder. I wonder if I should have Twiggit in the front at some point. I, I guess not. This, this seems to make good sense. This party order seems decent. Instigator gets so many attacks off. <laughs> It's it's such a crazy unit to just have an ability that's just like, oh yeah, I just attack a bunch. It's like, oh, that's that's good, I guess. That's fair. <laughs> it's reasonable, I suppose. Look at this. Look at this guy. Oh my god. Calm down, instigator. <laughs> Look at him. He's such a beast. He's such a beast of a unit. Okay. Just do one of these, I guess. And I'm gonna need to get this guy leveled up, I think. We're gonna work toward that at this point. Just get all that XP in there. Is shielding gonna be valuable for the last boss fight, I wonder? I gotta think about what I want on this guy for the last fight. I guess I definitely am going to want to evolve them with this, so that's gotta stay. And on hurt gain regen would be pretty good because we do regenerate a ton. We could also get on move gain shield, which would be reasonable enough as well. And Twiggit will continue to shuffle the party. After Hyper Shanka goes down, it'll get sent to the back. It just doesn't happen very often because Hyper Shanka's so tanky. <laughs> but, like, theoretically, this team maybe goes infinite. I don't know. There's Instigator, and there's a Four Toys. We could use the Four Toys to, to scale our Instigator more easily. Just to guarantee a couple more activations. But it looks like we're doing okay with the activations. I don't know. There we go. That's one. He's just he's just killing people. As one would expect. So now that he's asleep. I don't know if that's proccing the attacks like it's supposed to. I don't I don't know. It's weird. Oh my goodness. Look at how, look at how many last wishes are on these guys. It's actually crazy. What a cool setup. Okay. So if I were going to put four toys on the team, who would I dump for the time being? Maybe Shanka? Like Shanka comes back, but you know, like just just for the time being, maybe we just run this, you know? Shanka, Shanka's ready. 
He's he's prepared. It's just a matter of preparing the rest of the team. Um, and we, we just do it like this. What do we got? Physical type. I will definitely take a bonus physical at this point. And we'll slap that on Moshade. Because I want electric on Twiggit. So hopefully that'll help. And I think we go... We could go a pretty aggressive line or we could go for some more types. Right now, we've got, like, a couple of things that I'd, I'd be game for. I think we're going to go for extra types over anything else. Okay. So this looks like it's going to be really good. At least I'm kind of hoping. Okay, that was not as many shots fired off as I was hoping. Hopefully Twiggit's ability goes off again here soon. Oh my god, they're, <laughs> they're just not getting a chance to do anything for whatever reason. All right, all right. There will be no calming down. The damage is still just coming out. Yeah, Moshade stacking up Instigator like this is going to be so good. It's going to be so dang good. There we go. Don't mind if I did. I don't think any of these items have any relevance to us at this point. Uh, we're going to dump the drums, I've decided. Actually, Loudner's super dead to me. We'll get rid of that first. Okay. Um, you need leaking battery. You need the... this. Leaking battery still hasn't shown up, sadly. Here we go. Up to 9 attack now, so that, that'll be 10 attack with that. Which is great. Oh my goodness, that poor Swana. <laughs> Swana just getting ripped to shreds. Instigator feels like they get to attack an awful lot, I gotta say. I like it though. He's, he is my favorite guy. It's just really cool to, to see the, the wombo combo go off. There we go. I do enjoy the damage. Um, we'll take Square Apps item. Because that looks like it could be good. And just raw strength is amazing. There we go. We're up to 12 attack. It's not my highest attack unit I've ever had. But it's it's not bad. Certainly not bad. I dump Square App. One of these times I gotta try buffing up Square App and see how they play out. Because they might get really good too. I guess we could use this for the end game boss fight. With Instigator. That would be good. Because they're going to get it moved around a decent amount. We definitely don't give a, a hoot about water. That's for certain. <laughs> I didn't know what word was going to come out of my mouth there. But I'm glad that's the one that I chose. That's the one that my brain came up with. <laughs> uh. Here we go. Deputile. He's so cool. He's the coolest guy. And he knows it. Uh, we're gonna do a buy sell here. Just so that way I can min max on how many battles I can uh, get the bonuses from. Deputile turns into hyper deputile. Hell yeah. Okay, let me put that flame belt back on. We're gonna use the sheriff's badge to grant a bunch of bonus attack to Twiggit probably. And Shanka is going to replace Fortoise for the, the end fight. Okay. Looking pretty good. Oh my god, he's huge. I guess that's what happens when you go hyper. You get you go big mode. You go big... Oh my god, dude. <laughs> they all just auto-died. <laughs> Calm down. Okay. That's fun. Twig, it's evolving! I haven't seen this evolution. Turns into Hall Oak. Oh my god, he looks so cool. Move back three. Grant three allies behind. Okay, very cool. Very cool. I bet that would pair really well with, um... Wouldn't that just go infinite with the one Jestem? 
<laughs> the infinite invincible combos are pretty pog. Like, no, nobody's gonna disagree on that, right? Like, those are sick. Being truly invincible is badass. What's the difference between carrot on a stick and, uh, and stormy bottle? Let's see. Let's find out together. So carrot on a stick is moved gain one. Stormy bottle is bottled storm moved gain one. They're literally the exact same item. Weird. Weird. I wonder why. I wonder why they're the exact same item. I don't think there's any other items that are like identical like that. Hmm. Well, not my problem. Uh... Where are we on the map? We get to have one more roll. So I'm not gonna worry for now. And we'll just jump over here, see what kind of bonus we're getting. It's dusk! That's great. It's very good. We'll go ahead and throw that on Deputile. That's going to give us even more ability procs on death, which is amazingly good. And uh, thank you, Fortoise, for your services. You've uh, made Deputile even stronger. And now, these, these two actually have, like, crazy health totals. <laughs> like, they're, they're way tankier than they should be, which is amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and steal uh, some of Deputile's crazy attack bonus, for sure. And then, we're going to have attack gain be a speed gain for Mo Shade. Are we gonna gain any other attack? Yeah, we are, because it's gonna... It's going to be gaining attack by using its ability, so it'll be gaining speed that way. And then Hyper Shanka is going to be cool and stuff. He's just going to be cool. And I, I guess we've got our items solved, so we're just going to dump some of these. And I need to figure out... Hang on, I'm, I'm going to figure out what, what does it for Bulby and Hollow, and we'll, we'll see if we can get these. Since we now have them like locked in, we'll figure out the items. Okay, so we need... Slime Ball and Leaking Battery for Shock Orb with Mo Shade, and then we need Lantern for Hollow. Oak. I don't know if I have Lantern unlocked or if I've seen Lantern. It's quite possible I have, and my brain's just not thinking of it. I just... I'm so dumb. Why do I keep making broken rocks? <laughs> this is just, I think this is the same episode, or the second episode in the same day. Right? <laughs> I just put two rocks together, two bar jars of sand and made a rock. Why am I like this? <laughs> why am I like this, man? I don't know. I don't know why I'm like this. Leave a comment down below why I'm like this. <laughs> um. Okay. Um, guess we'll evolve Drummerk for now. Mo Shade turns into Thrashade. God damn. Very cool. Oh my god, he's gonna hurt himself so much. He's hurting himself so much. He shouldn't do that. I need to. I need to, like, find some way to heal him up. We're going to hunt for an item that can help with that. Because he's, he's going to be doing a lot of self-damage. Chimeraze didn't make it to the end party, which is a bit of a rip. But that's okay. They tried their best. They, they were useful. They did cool stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. Uh, let me see what we got here. Uh, a bunch of garbage. Total trash. All useless. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Let's roll again. And... Useless. Okay. Well, I guess we're not getting all hypers, but that's okay. Um, hurt. Grant ally. Three max HP. Consume. Yeah, I guess Thrashade's just gonna kill himself. Which is unfortunate. But that's how it be. I'm gonna leave Fortoise in my inventory, because it's really funny. Because it eats the boss. <laughs> and it's, I don't know, it just sounds funny to me. Okay. Um, I guess we're ready. I guess this is it. Pretty good team. Let's send it. This should be a really cool team. I'm excited. 
Here we go. So four toys should eat Chaothesis because four toys, if they're in the front, will eat the back unit. Wait. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's just funny. I don't, I don't think there's any real reason to do it other than because it's, it, it is funny. I feel like that's a good enough reason to do something, right? I'm a firm believer in doing things because they're funny. It, I, I literally don't think that does any benefit to us at all, though. Oh my god, look at how much... This team, it, maybe it did help because it, like, slowed down the, the portal production. Maybe that's actually a dank play. This team scales up mightily. Like, goddamn. Look at this. Moshade's kind of cracked, dude. Calm down, buddy. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Yeah, this is, a, this is a meaty team. Big fan of this one. I'm terrified that they might have uh, my Chimera, but it looks like they don't. So we should be okay. As long as Chimera doesn't show up, we'll, we'll be safe. Oh, Mo Thra Thrashade's throwing out the, the attack for everyone. Sacrificing their own life in order to make everybody strong as hell. <laughs> Maybe I should have given the attack speed to Holoke, I don't know. I guess Holoke is... is... That's funny. Holoke has so much attack. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thrashade, no! He's gonna kill himself when he gets um, down to his last bit of HP. I needed like the the potted plant plus like super flower to keep him alive. And I don't even know if that would have kept him alive. Maybe. It's hard to say. If we get our attack speed high enough with Thrashade... Oh my god, if we get our attack speed high enough with threat- Wait, the last boss got eaten by four toys again? <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Okay, here we go. Oh, rest in peace, Thrashade! Hero! <laughs> Absolute hero. Oh my gosh. This is, this is a bit of a longer episode, I'm realizing. Hopefully everybody's alright with the longer episode. Alright, I, I think... I think we're good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're set. Thrashade's kind of a banger unit. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty good with Hall Oak and, and Dusk Synergy. That's 1460 damage by Hyper Depudile. That was a fun run. That turned out really good. That was a unique one. I liked it a lot, and I hope you did too. If you did, maybe leave a like on the video, and uh, I would appreciate that a lot. Subscribe and all that, or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.